you can see down here, I've got my graphics card 6850 plugged in. Uh, I've got two PCI or one PCIe cable installed. Remember, very important if you just switch the computer off, to leave it standing for about five minutes, then nerf yourself, touch the side of the case. If you have any static, you don't want to damage any opponents. So, yeah, touch the side of the case, GG, well played, as we say in gaming. And uh, if you, some people have screws, some people have quick release. Basically, push them in if you've got a quick release, like on my Cooler Master half case, and uh, that will unlock, plate your PCIe cables. Which will hopefully come off. There we go. And then, if you can get in there, you should be able to see little blue PCIe slot on my Asus P6 T Deluxe. You need to push the little slot down like that, and then you should just be able to lift the card out quite easily. It's a little dusty in there, so I'm definitely going to have to clean out my computer after this video. Um, so for now, shove it to the side. Right. Plug 3D HD 6870 times 2 right here. And uh, same process really, same slot. Go ahead and, uh, of course, it's already unlocked, so we can just go start it in. Like so. Have some care. There, now we just push it down till we hear a click. I think that should be in. Let me double check. Yep, that was in. There we go. Graphics card in. Shut it down. Quick release. And it is quite a wide card, but not as wide as some NVIDIA ones. So you should be okay with mid sized cases, but I would check the, assist, the, uh, the sizes on the product specifications uh, with your case. Okay, so now we've got the graphics card plugged in. Uh, we need two PCIe cables. Um, my. Of course, their TX750 does support it, so we do have two by default, but of course, as I said in the previous video, you might need an adapter. Um, they are six pins, but they do come with an additional two on each connection. So we can sort of put it together, but it is really, really fiddly. Um, if I can just there about to get it. There we go. And then plug it in. There's one of them. It does look like it's in properly as well. One thing I would say, I'm not a fan of the position of the power connections on the card, but nonetheless, push them both down, make sure they're in. And there we go, graphics card is now slotted in, safe, secure, not too much give, so hopefully. We're going to be okay, of course, we'll have to get it switched on and checked out, but that's how you install and uninstall a graphics card from your system. Obviously, the camera isn't the greatest, but hopefully you guys have been able to see that clearly. And yeah, stay tuned for the uh, video playtest.